Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of KSP Career Mode, where today we'll be launching an unmanned pro science probe to Minmus, so that it may collect vital data to the Kerbal race. And without further ado, let us begin its journey into the skies. Now, today we will be launching this, as I just said, and... Oh, SAS on. But we'll also be landing it very, very close to our good comrade Bill Kerman, who is currently landed on the salt plains of Minmus. So, that's this mission for today, and hopefully we're going to try and do it a lot quicker than last time, because there were a couple of weird cuts I had to make, just because it was half an hour long, and I'm sure none of you want to see me just float through space talking about random crap for half an hour. So, 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 so... The solid fuel boost is nearly out of solid fuel. We will be ejecting them shortly. So, uh, for, for example, now. That's a great time. And unlike the last mission, this does feature thrust vectoring because... And, oh, also, the SES unit is in the launch stage because once we get up to this stage, it'll just be drawing power and it's so small it's negligible that... It, it, the just the torque of the spacecraft, the uh, probe core will be fine. But for something like this, we do need an SAS to kind of keep it stable, and that's the entire reason we've enrolled that little guy in the mid-flight section. Mid-flight section. That's I completely made that up. Then that's not even a word. Okay, so I've got to stop saying so. This is looking quite stable. And we'll have a look here. 73. Let's bring up that. Let's get it up to 80 like last time. Good. It's going to be kind of a race for time again. Which I would like to see who wins. Me or time itself. My bets are on time. but 24 by 84. Let's do 81 by 76. Fine. That is fine for what we need to do. And whoa, look how look how nimble this craft is. And once we get out of the thick atmosphere, like we kind of are now, I'm going to unfurl the solar panels. Like so. That is good. Uh, we're going to test the legs. Just all pre just post flight checklists. Good. And it's a 35 second burn. So we are at one minute. We want to be going 17 and a half seconds away. Getting up to that time right about now. So we begin the burn. And hopefully we'll still have some sort of fuel. Could say goodbye to those guys. Wow, that's really quickly spinning. Holy crap. That is cool. Oh, we can actually see Minmus there. They're right above... Oh, you probably can't again. <laughs> it's like last time, but I can see a really tiny flickering dot, and that is Minmus. So as we get into orbit, I will actually do this. And time accelerates, like, fizz warp slightly. Just to attempt to beat time. All is going well in the Munchkin village and in space. Especially in the Munchkin village. There we go. That's good enough. It's 50. S no, it's not. Why? Why? Why would it? Oh, come on. I will burn downwards, and that will go some way to. No, no, it didn't. Why didn't that? Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna burn upwards. Sorry. And that will kind of equalize, or circularize the orbit. As long as that gets to about 70. And that's at 136. God, that's annoying. Set that as target, and... Oh, that's actually really, really handy. That's coming up right about now. So we'll do this burn. Like so. And I will meet you back once I have the plane adjusted, because last time that took ages. And it's kind of boring to watch, so I will see you once I've done my plane changes. 
See you in a minute. Bye. Okay, so we're back, and I'm just uh, doing the final burn into the uh, to get an encounter with Minmus. So we're doing the orbital. No, that's that's a different thing entirely. Sorry. So okay, good. So we should have. 850,000, that's fine, that can be adjusted very easily. And just let's get up and higher above here. So we're at 35 minutes in uh, time, in game time, which is, we're doing a lot better for time than we did last time. How many times did I just, oh my god, use it again. So let's kind of try and do something to adjust. Nope, definitely not that. Oh, Cree, let's, well, we have to see which way we're coming in. Can anything be done about that? What can we do to fix this? I don't know. Well, we can burn east. Let's try east. Making our way now up to the moon. That was a lot of kerfuffle getting that right because we do want to be landing close and that took ages to fix sorry about that which you won't even have noticed but yeah that was a surprise cut because I spent about 10 minutes fixing that then and what the heck yeah and it's still not perfect so I'm still gonna have to do a bit of adjusting here ah damn these infernal orbital mechanics right Taha. nope and the SE, lack of SES is beginning to annoy me. We're going to have to make sure to note in future, please add SAS. There we go, coming in around the same plane now. And we're going to get ourselves into orbit. Uh, also, we do need to transmit some data from Minmus. So we're going to use uh, the temperature scan, which I've included very conveniently there, log temperature. Okay, never mind. We're not going to do that. We're going to do one of these guys. 40 science. Let's transmit 12 science. That's okay. Ow. Right. You see Minmus there. Beautiful, beautiful Minmus. Okay. So we're going to begin our coast in now. Let's get ourselves lined up for orbit. Oh, crap. It is on the night side. That's okay. Night side will be fine. Just have to keep in mind that uh, keep in mind that we're gonna have to do this pretty quickly because I don't think our engines produce electric charge. Oh, there we are, 85 kilometers away. Hello, brother on on space, brother on space, brother Bill on Minmus. Here we are. Let's have a look now. Okay. So we are slowing down quite quickly down to an orbital velocity. And once this gets fairly circularized. Now, because we would be landing in the night side, we do have to maybe do one pass. Yeah, I would say maybe do a quick one pass just so that we will in fact be landing on the day side when we get there. And there we go. That seems to be about the same position as when we landed last time, so that's pretty good. And here we are, just getting this all adjusted now. And we do want to overshoot slightly because the rotation is quite quick. In 3 minutes, 50, 25 seconds will be the burn. It's only 2 seconds long. Again, because it's such a weak engine, it, you'd think that everything would take forever, but the tiny mass of this rocket just cancels everything out. And seriously, it's so easy to land on. I would, again, definitely recommend just landing on this first, just to get your bearings and uh, learn. Just learning how to what, even just what what are you supposed to look at while you're doing it, because it can be a bit disorienting, and it is. It's it's difficult. Let's not lose our electric charge now, hey. It does look like. We've overfueled this mission again, as well. Uh, that's annoying. I mean, I guess it's good because you'd, it, it's good in the sense that we could get this thing back into an orbit and start taking orbital scans, 
which would be quite useful. But we also would need a... Uh, we could always uh, grapple on a repair module, but that does need men. So I don't know. I don't know. But we can also take like more orbital scans of temperature and stuff, I think. Maybe. Maybe. maybe yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Right. Here we go. And... Now we need to transmit or recover scientific data from the surface of Minmus, which we will be doing either mi on either mission. So this guy down, yeah, again, two Gs. So very good for such a small craft. Let's slow this down and kind of burn some of this fuel away and then drop it because we don't want to be landing on that. We want to be landing on legs. Ta-da! That engine does work, thank goodness. It's going very well. Let's get that guy there. And let's still switch to that. Now, I do want to see where we're going to be landing, because I can kind of glide across the surface, You know, if you know what I mean. We'll get close to the surface, and then we'll kind of uh, translate over. Let's have a look at this. That will be colliding in 400 meters. Very soon, and kaplooey! Wow. Yes, yeah, so we're going to begin to kind of kill all velocity now. I'm just trying to get it so that we're going to be falling in the right direction. So there we are. It's better. And um, then we're coming for a landing now. That is a lot better than it was. Good. Right, sorry about the lack of commentary here. It's just pinpoint landing is it's drawing on my concentration reserves. My valuable my precious concentration reserves are being used up by this landing. Bah. Oh yes, this is a good landing. Let's slow it down slightly. Let's make sure we do in fact land and not crash. There's a fine line between crashing and landing. And we do not want to cross that line. We want to be staying on the very on the good side of that that uh, gentle beast that divides crashing and landing. Let's get the solar panel on the right side here while we're at it. And let's translate across slightly. Come on. We can do this. We can get this right over there. Because they, we're so pro like that. Let's do this. For Sparta. Us, yes, would be nice to do this, but we're too pro. Too pro for that. Silly RCS. Silly, silly RCS. Nearly landed now. Sorry about that. Interruption. You may notice a cut in the video, or you will have just heard the interruption. That was my brother. Damn him. And his infernal interruptions. Wow. Okay, coming down. This is a fairly large lander. Well, for unmanned, anyway. I didn't really realize it until now. Okay. Gently does it. Ta-da! Let's get all these things opened up. 125. Unfortunately, we are gonna get only gonna get 25. Cancel actually. Keep that. Can we get the guy out? If we can transmit or like transfer data between these guys, then uh, hopefully keep data. Let's see if we can get this data out into that craft, maybe. And then we really do, will end the episode. Right, let's get this guy out. Because mission accomplished, we have landed on the surface of Minmus just by this, so we've got a good little base going here. Uh, foreshadowing, but Bill may or may not be returning, and I'm not going to say which. Collect. Oh, yes! Oh, well. 
We'll remove that data. Um, yeah, you, d you don't know anything about uh, the Minmus base that we're going to be building, but you didn't hear it from me because, as far as you're concerned, it's not happening. Do, 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 do. I mean, and like, you know, all this R&D that we're going to have to do and get it, you know, again, you, you didn't hear about that. But if we board that material study, we can get tons of stuff here. Uh, that's 125 science that we've just saved. And, yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the episode. But, I think, yeah, I think that's everything accomplished for now. I've been Michael Sol, Total Building King. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of career, KSP Career Mode. Have fun in space, guys. Bye!